Hey, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful people, good afternoon to you. If you have not yet surrendered your hearts, your minds, your souls to Jesus Christ, please feel free to do so. Certainly, he's the best being ever, and that would be the best decision that you could ever make. Now, I realize these days we're living in a different time when people are comfortable. They feel a sense of freedom to disrespect let us put it this way, lukewarm Christians or even Christians in general, the good ones, the not so good ones, the very bad ones. And they have a very vitriolic term, this rancor that they promulgate where they say the dirty Christian dem. All right, let me remind you, I think it is in the book of Kings. I can't recall if it is first or second Kings. Anyway, it's the story of David and Saul. Now, everybody knew that um, Saul had, you know, called David to the palace because he had killed Goliath. And he really treated him like a son initially. And David and Jonathan became best friends. You know, and their friendship was platonic solely. No make any goes fool and otherwise. Anyhow, and, you know, when David started to, you know, be trained for the army, sort of, sort of a thing, the women began singing, Saul killed a thousand, David killed tens of thousand, ten times the present, what the present king is doing. And that infuriated Saul. And Saul never stopped as he pursued David day and night, night and day to kill him. Remember that when the evil spirit would come upon Saul, David would go for his hard place so that he would have been relieved for the moment. David was a good, let us call it, adopted son in a sense to Saul. Fast forward as, you know, David um, got older. Twice he could have killed Saul and he did not. He would have had all right. He said, I, I basically cannot touch the Lord's anointing, the Lord's anointed, sorry. He respected God and he also respected Saul in spite of the fact that Saul's jealousy yeah, um, caused him to do all of this to him, you know. No, I'm saying all of that to say this to you. You do have some awful Christians. Who, I've said to people that most of my issues that I faced in life are from so-called Christians. Evil and wicked. Oh God, I, I can't even begin to explain and express what many of them have done to me. But I'm still very careful of the things I say because God will hold me accountable. I will talk to him personally about some things that I have, but I'm careful. So do not laud them as dirty Christian, but he said them evil and wicked and leave it there. Be careful. God will judge you. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share.